Welcome everybody to Runners to Arsenal X Expansion Pass. Woo! Woo! Yes! This is YouTube only content that we deliver to you guys. So if you want more of this, uh, subscribe to NGR Radio on YouTube. YouTube.com you slash NGR Radio. Like, subscribe, share. Woo! Sorry, I was trying to get my Let's Play hype voice ready. Okay. <laughs> is that, is well, that how you do that? Is that how you do that? Do Go ahead and do it. Do it again. Hey guys, Rogue Spartan 4 here, ready for another Let's Play. Like, subscribe, share. Right? I got it right, right? That was good, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, this episode of Expression Pass. You don't want me to do the uh, 17 year old hot chick gamer girl one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he, has a, and he does it anyway. <laughs> no, it's more like this. Uh, that's that one big girl that be doing that dance. The one big white girl. Like, yeah. I was like, uh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> on today's episode, we are talking about a sudden cartoon that got announced with some animation. Yes, everybody, the new Ninja Turtles, the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, have been shown off with their character art, and they have some interesting designs. And apparently, we are at odds with this, seeing as I got on my shredder. Uh, That's a sweet shirt, by the way. Yes. <laughs> I should have worn my turtle shirt, but uh, I'm already sitting down. So, Well, you got one three. I know. That's 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 awesome. I know. I my second like a favorite Joker. <laughs> yes. My second favorite cartoon behind Ninja Turtles is X Men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. It is good because you went into the X. <laughs> yes. oh, man. Uh, can I? Okay. Okay. I have thoughts. Okay, and I read an article on was it Polygon or Waypoint or something <laughs> that said. Uh, Wait a second. I see what you did, Jesse. Because <laughs> <laughs> of his point. <laughs> you gonna do? Oh no! Ah! <laughs> exactly. That was the face. Wow. I okay, I I have thoughts. Okay. Look. Look, I read an article the other day that really made me mad. I'm not usually one that gets mad about reboots and redos. I understand the concept, all right? Toy companies want to make more toys. They want to sell new products. They want to refresh the brand, if you will, right? Which is fine, right? I had no problem with them moving from, you know, the black and white comics where they all had the red, band, the red masks to color to... The 90s cartoon, which is an abomination of the original comics, but it was still fun anyway type thing, right? It was to sell toys and pizza and more toys. And then the movies, I get it, right? All fine. I didn't mind the cartoon transitions. I actually thought the second cartoon they did, which was like, I forget, I don't, what, Ninja Turtles late 90s whatever and then they transitioned into like the uh they weren't teenagers anymore for like a season couple seasons where they were kind of like older and splinter was dead and you know michelangelo was losing a, um, was missing a hand that was really cool like it was just like this really cool alternate take of the turtles and i really liked that and i actually didn't even mind the new movies right the new movies weren't terrible they were fun fan servicey movies they were fun right i like the second let me tell you okay this article i read the other day about it said like you tur old school turtles fans need to let go and i was like no no we don't and i'm gonna tell you why the ninja turtles change all the time it's like uh, it, I mean, the Turtles are a parody of Daredevil and X-Men and, like, all these old-school comics, right? They're, they're, yes. It's a parody, and they change. Like, the, the original influence was to, like, change as comics changed, right? And, like, Turtles, the original concept of the Turtles was change, right? And, like, I get it. Gotta sell toys, whatever. 
why is Raph look like he just was sitting in that chair next to Bruce Banner when he was gamma ray poisoned? Okay. Why? Okay. I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. Like, okay. A lot of people were like mad that April was black. I'm like, I don't care. Who cares? Like, that's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Like, who really, who really cares? Like, that's the one thing out of this abomination train wreck of an illustration that you're pulling out. That's the one thing that sticks out to you is like April has a glow in the dark back and she's black. No, who cares? I think a black April could be cool. Okay. I think it's cool. Yes. April changes all the time too, right? Every single movie, she's different. Every single movie, except for the last two. She's Megan Fox. Uh, yes. <laughs> but these turtles, I'm sorry. They look, they look, Raph looks scary as heck. I'm going to watch my language. Raph looks scary as heck, right? He's huge. He's like got all the slime and like he's slobbering and like he's supposedly the leader now. Do they not listen to the original theme song? Leonardo leads. Not Raph. Leo. Leonardo leads. Donatello does machines, right? Okay. Now they got that out of the way. Why is Raph the leader? Why is Raph the leader? <laughs> Second of all, if you notice, Michelangelo does not have nunchucks. He's not have nunchucks. He has a mace. Why does he have a mace? What is a ninja turtle doing with a mace? And if you're going to have a mace, don't make it bright orange. Why is it bright orange? He's, well, he's whipping around. Shh. I shh. Can, nope. I nope. Shh. I nope. Asked the nope. Nope. I, I know. In the later seasons of the cartoons, nunchucks were considered like really dangerous weapons, so they changed it in the in the later seasons of the cartoons. Get well, it? Also I get in, it. Uh, in Europe, Shh. like they they can't have nunchucks on right. TV. I know that's I mean, that's what I meant. Like that's where I was going, but I'm too frustrated right now to histor historialize. Yeah, I made up a word. That's great. Yeah. Write that down, internet. I made up a word. Ninja Turtles got me so angry, you got me making up words now. <sighs> Donatello doesn't even have a shell, guys. Donatello doesn't have a shell. And I know there's soft shell turtles, but Donatello doesn't even have a shell. Okay? He has a backpack. It's a backpack. It's a backpack. He's wearing a backpack. And like honestly, they they look like they're just wearing masks. Yeah. Like it, the like the way they're like heads are animated or whatever, it just doesn't even look right either. It just looks like they're wearing a, a mask. Look, and how does Nickelodeon <laughs> like go a, from? How do they go from like one of the be like that the animated show they were doing beforehand, like was cool. Like that art direction was cool. Like the stories they were telling were cool. How do you go from like one of the coolest looking turtles? In a long time to this how do you how do you do that like who who thought that was a good idea like why 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 are they rebooting the ninja turtles when they just rebooted it three years ago are they did they did they lose ideas for toys are they confused like what's happening yeah speaking of i i'm <laughs> i'm gonna be uh curious to see if like if these uh toys actually sell like if they like how well they sell yeah they will i mean they will. i mean they will but like i don't know i mean like why 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 like because like the is worst donatello thing... gonna just have a backpack and literally not have a shell on his toy too i mean <laughs> <laughs> They, I mean, they already had the turtles where the shells opened up and you store their weapons inside the turtles. Like, that's a that's already a toy. You don't need to make a turtle with a backpack. Like, it's it's already a toy. It's already been there in four iterations. I know because I have four iterations of this toy, right? I have like 200 Ninja Turtles sitting in my parents' basement. I know. I know the yeah. toys. 
Do you have any of the ones where they turn? You could flip them and turn them into a, a the baby, baby turtles. Turtle? Yes, I have two iterations <laughs> of those. Um, these like this is really stressing me out, guys. As a huge Ninja Turtle fan, and as somebody who understands that things get rebooted, and I and that I'm I know I'm doing exactly the same thing as I told people like shut up about transformers or giant robots that fight who cares like this is i'm doing exactly what those people are doing and i'm doing exactly what the people wouldn't shut up about gi joe when those movies came out like shut up they're Ooh. army people like <laughs> they're blowing stuff up who cares right i get that i'm doing that exact same thing i got mad at them for doing <laughs> but i don't care <laughs> this is the internet i can complain <laughs> No, okay, look, I'm just, I'm really concerned, like, in in all seriousness, after I just rambled on about, for like, eight or nine minutes about how awful I think this is, in all seriousness, they, did you see Splinter, the Splinter character model, by the way, or the Splinter? No, no, oh. no, I've only Google seen search the, it, the have fun turtle. with that, have fun Google searching Master Splinter, he's a... Dude, if anything in this shows has ever been like racist stereotype, this is the worst thing. This is the worst one. Okay. Like I I understand like like this 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 looks like a cheap like adult swim cartoon network cartoon. Like that's some like they they gave a first season order to. Like it it and not like I know there's popular shows on on Adult Swim and, and stuff like that, but like, this looks like. Remember when they used to give like f- like fifteen minute run times to first season shows at like two and three o'clock in the morning when it was first like kind of starting. Like that's yeah. what th- that's what these turtle designs remind me of. That's what it reminds me of, and I'm like, look, tur- <sighs> I don't even know. Somebody else talk. I'm getting sad. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, to me, it looks like a parody. That's exactly this, what it looks like. It looks like Rise of the Teenage Mutant yep. Ninja Turtles. Yep. Uh. Ooh, that's. <laughs> it looks like for a character that could have been in the Jackie Chan cartoon. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, and that Jackie Chan cartoon was better than this is going to be. I guarantee it. And that show was not great. <laughs> You know what else is going to be better than this show? Shaq Fu. <laughs> uh, hey, man, that trailer, that new trailer. Did you watch the new trailer, Jesse? Yes. No, no, I haven't yet. Oh, but it's going to be great. I, I, seen, I seen part of it because I forget. I seen it somewhere on like my, my timeline or something. And It's guaranteed not to suck as bad. No, I just like, <laughs> I, I really well, like. Uh, Corey, Corey. Okay, hold on. Jesse, let's see yeah. your thoughts. On, on what? The Ninja Turtles. Oh, wow. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> it just looks awful. Like, that's why, that's why uh, I, uh, that's why when I sent the, the link for the video, I tagged you guys in it. I just was like, you guys got to see this. Yeah, you tagged me it in just... it. I was like, what is this? What are you showing me? I thought like I thought it was a joke when you tagged me in it at first. Like <laughs> I really thought it was a joke. I thought you sent me something like it looks like Fan it, art. You know this like it looks like a college humor video or like like uh you know those fake like Mario ones that people put up all the time. Like that's what it, that's what I thought it was. It's it's the gorillas. It's <laughs> the gorillas as turtles i just look i wish i wish somebody would just take like i wish somebody would do turtles in like like batman the animated series yeah like make it fun for kids but give it like a a, a sort of mature storyline and just like yeah there's gonna be funny parts in it and there's gonna be dramatic parts in it and there's gonna be sad parts in it just somebody do turtles like batman the animated series and it would be perfect like I, you could even use that same art style. I don't care. I just like I, like I never really got into Batman the animated series all that much. But like I, <gasps> I, I know I know I need to watch it. I really want to watch it. I just, but like, I understand the cultural, like importance of of Batman the animated series and like 
that's the direction I wish Ninja Turtles would go. Like, give me like a five or six season Turtles in that style with a a semi mature storyline and have some humor in there and have some interesting villains in there and have like some really cool choreographed fight scenes and like that that's the formula they need to follow and like in all seriousness I don't know how this show is going to turn out it could I can't believe I'm saying this it could be like the best version of the turtles we've seen ever but like first at first glance and how ridiculous the character designs look and how like they just they just look dumb like in I understand like a bunch of people are working out hard on this and this is the direction Nickelodeon wants to go with them and whatever more power to you you own the franchise rights or whatever and I'm sure Peter Laird is making a butt ton of money off of this but like mm-hmm. come on man like take it a little bit seriously like you don't want to yeah. Ninja Turtles aren't meant to be like SpongeBob or Dexter's Lab it's meant to be like for me, like turtles, turtle storylines are as serious or more serious than like X Men or Batman. Like they are just like they deal with things. They deal with important things, even though like they're being dumb and eating pizza and whatever and like beating up bad guys and stuff. But like, I just think it should be taken a little bit more seriously than this. And that's what I really yeah. liked about this, like the one that Nickelodeon's doing now. Not this one, but the 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 computer animated one. That's what I yeah. liked about that one was like it was lighthearted, but it took itself seriously and it dealt with some important things and and you know, it, man, they're probably trying to reach to, of course, like you said earlier, trying to reach to a younger crowd. So I mean, that's what these, it looks like. It this... looks like the demographics gonna be like five to seven year olds. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I think with the Zany character art, people will kids will find that cool. People will find well, kids will find it wacky. Uh, I think it was just that Ninja Turtles has been so much uh, adult kind of collectors fan kind of uh, product. You know, a lot of people who are fans of it, older fans, older adults, are the ones who you know. Love Ninja Turtles, love the lore, the, the toys, and everything. And like, and I, so I get it. Like, I, I, in the grand scheme of things, I understand Ninja Turtles are for kids. Like, and, <laughs> and once kids start growing out of like, look, I mean, that's how long it takes kids to grow out. Like, that's the that's you know, analytics probably show that kids like grow out of the shows they want to watch after four or five seasons, and they move on to the next yeah. thing. That's eight, aim towards their age group and then they have to you know they're probably trying to get ahead of that and be like look these kids are growing out of this cart this very successful cartoon that we just did people liked it and it's had a good run we haven't really stumbled anywhere with it let's end it while it's hot and aim for that next group coming in like and i i get it like their business and you know i know everything i did at the beginning of the show was super over exaggerated and stuff i just i just wish like you know they would do something for us too. Like, I mean, Mar- yeah, I Marvel's the, doing it. Marvel's the, doing it with the like. Problem. But I think that's the problem that it's always been for us, and it's never been directed for kids. And maybe because of the toy line not selling well, because once the collectors and adults get it, what kid is really asking for? Uh, really asking for Ninja Turtles. What kid is really asking for Power Rangers and stuff? It's mostly adults who are buying it, and uh, some uh, some adults who are buying it for a kid are just guessing it because they don't know what that kid likes. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's probably like a birthday gift or something. Yeah, it's just to me like to me Turtles has always been on like a more serious. I mean, and, and I know Batman was like cheesy back in like the sixties and seventies uh-huh. and stuff, but like you know, in the nineties and and you know well into the 2000s and even now like batman is a dark character with that deals with adult themes and stuff and even x-men too and it's like the turtles should be i feel like the turtles should be aiming for that but they're trying to they're trying to be spider-man they're trying to capture both audiences at the same I, time and it's like pick one i like, think well yeah and i, I but I, I feel like they've already chosen they've had 
30 years to choose which path they've, to go down, and they've gone down the cheesy path once, <laughs> and that was the mm. original cartoon, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, th- I mean, th- what else can you do with the Ninja Turtles? You can like, you can make you can look how successful look how successful Batman and X Men animated series were. Those well, yeah, I mean, like they were for kids, but they were for like big kids. They had a, <laughs> big they, kids. They had, a, <laughs> they had they had a production to them, and you kind of got to realize that during that time, definitely in the nineties. Japan was doing a lot of that animation. It wasn't America. Yeah. So and you could you could look at America's animation versus Japanese animation or Japanese doing a American like television. You can see the difference of it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I just I would like them to try to if you're gonna do something like this, I it makes me think like, do they have something else for our age range like uh, fans of like early stuff in the works too because like you know marvel's oh. marvel's been well maybe they just haven't announced anything yet like maybe because like marvel's been successful at capturing both audiences you mm-hmm. know disney has done a good job of doing that fox has done a good job of that with x-men if, uh, if dc's gonna, if, i don't know what dc's doing they're all in, if we're in gonna there. get if we're gonna get anything dark it's gonna be in the comic it's going to have to be someone doing a new comic. Nickelodeon has going to allow them having to do something that's dark. Um, other than other than that, no. I think Nick, probably Nickelodeon feels that all the dark and everything that adult people wanted from Ninja Turtles has already been done. If you don't believe me, go look at the last 30 years. Go look at the movie. Go look at the cartoons. I mean, look, at the, run, look like, at the run like six, like five or six years ago where they they murdered like spoilers for the turtles run that happened at idw like six, five or six years ago probably earlier and probably like more like three or four years ago actually yeah. they mur they straight up murdered donatello in the comics and there was like a like a five uh five issue arc where they were mourning the loss of donatello and learning how to operate as a three-man team while dealing with the death of their brother and then you know time travel and dimensions and stuff happened and they ended up going back to like save him Same. or whatever but like you know that that was a cool story that you could tell somewhere and like yeah. and, and like you know some of them deal with like splinter get dying or you know it, it, raf leaves the team for a while to go do his own thing and he becomes the villain at some point like there's so many different things you could do that are different <laughs> yeah, but um, and and yes, that is for adults and stuff. But I think that's all of that stuff for adults. That's that's for them. They want to focus on kids because they know if kids could uh, kids like what they see, they're gonna want they're gonna want more Ninja Turtles. They're gonna be able more to market. They're gonna probably be like, hey, <clears throat> remember back in the day pizza hut was the thing for ninja turtles and kids love pizza well pizza hut's making some good business because of the ninja turtles love pizza and P- they love pizza hut kids would like pizza hut so they're trying to be i think i think that. they were I, aiming people towards domino's because in the first movie they bought domino's pizza and then in the arcade game pizza hut signs were falling on you trying to kill you i'm just saying yeah well just you was getting pizza hut for energy just, in the just, first one, just well, just saying, Domin- Domino's is better, anyways. I know Domino's well, you is know what? better. You know what? I'm not choosy between Domino's or Pizza Hut. I am. I am. <laughs> Domino's is better. Look, me and Jesse have had talks. We have had discussions, haven't we? Well, and I, I just had a bad, and I had a, so, so many bad experiences with. But that's a, that's for another. Another Pizza podcast, Hut's too greasy, yeah. man. I like I like my crust dry and my pizza delicious. I love my crust buttery. Yeah. Ew, no, <laughs> that makes me poop. I might as well be eating the just, pizza on the toilet. I like sauce on my actual pizza. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, I forgot. Yeah, because Corey, yeah, did you, did I did you were you in that conversation? Where I was telling Ed what happened. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. 
Oh yeah, we well we had uh, we had gotten a screw up on our order when we ordered from uh, Pizza Hut, so then they gave us a uh, um, like a, a amount of money or whatever that if we go with them, ne- you know, next time we go with them, we've got a uh, uh, some money on our on our under our name that we can use, right, or whatever for like a free pizza. And so we ordered from them, and they were, like, super busy, I guess. And I guess, I don't know if someone called in or something or was a no-show or something like that. But, like, we literally, our pizzas came, like, an I think, like, an hour and 15 minutes later or something crazy like that. And then when we got them, uh, there was, like, on the one pizza, there was literally no sauce on it. Like, like I couldn't even it just like it was super like all it was was just basically crust with cheese on it. And then I think pepperoni or something like that. And then the other one, they they must have like forgot or just took like a cheese pizza that was made. And just, like because we ordered a sausage pizza. And so what they did is they just threw a bunch of sausages on top of the already made pizza and then warmed it up and then just threw it in a box. So like literally you pick up the piece of slice of pizza and the, the meatballs just rolled right off of it. Like they were literally just sitting on top of the, the pizza. They weren't actually baked into the pizza at all. Wow. So I was just like, seriously, like one pizza doesn't have sauce on it. And the other one, you just literally throw some meatballs on top of it and call it good. (laughs) <laughs> I was so mad. I'm like, yeah, I'm never going there again. <laughs> and see, and see, for me, there's a because I live close to Domino's and close to Pizza Hut. Like I said, I do Pizza Hut on Saturdays. Domino's, see what Ed I does? Do... He orders one pizza from both places and puts the Domino's slice on top of the Pizza Hut slice and eats. Them I haven't together. did that yet. <laughs> I haven't did that yet. I have eaten <laughs> one whole Pizza Hut pizza by myself. It was comatose. <laughs> was dead to go. <laughs> oh, that's not hard to do. I mean, you're going to be feeling it when you wake up, but I mean, you, when this, look, when it's a $10 large, two toppings, yeah. Online yeah. order is special. Yeah. Uh, I man. usually get the $5 the $5 uh, hot and ruddies or whatever at little Caesars. <laughs> See, I haven't we have oh a little gosh. Caesars. This is this is so funny. We have a, a little Caesars twenty seconds from the Pizza Hut that I go to, so I can yeah. continue like the drive on uh, and and go in and get it. Cause uh, turn I it remember... into snack chat. <laughs> hey man, you know, this is expansion pass. We, we, we don't have to talk about. We don't. I know, we, I know. Just, we can talk about anything on this segment. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah. like I I I have to tell this story now because like. This past weekend, as of this recording, me and my cousin went and looked for like rare video games and stuff, which I found a lot of cool stuff. I found a Game Boy Micro, the family Co- Famicom Game Boy Micro. Yeah, I was like, I was like this close, this close. Yes. If, if I was like, <laughs> dude, if things were like, if all my chips were aligned, I may have bought it. There was like six things I would have bought. I found we saw a a <clears throat> like the redesigned Super Nintendo complete in box with a Super Mario All Stars Plus World Cart. Inbox, hundred twenty five bucks. I was like, "It's close, man. It's close." And I was like, "No, no, I, I can't." I, I literally now gotta when I get my new job, save up. And you have got to take me there. Yeah, well, dude, when like that, t- with if you ever when you come up here and like we're planning a trip, you should just come with us. It'll be a good time. Yes. Well, Ed, well, Ed, you're going to the that. Uh... What is it? The um, mid US mid gaming classic. Yeah, they they they'll literally they should have like all like it should be kind of like that too there where they've got like all kinds of like old systems and stuff like that. I think. Okay. Like you know, just like crazy things like that that are harder to find will be there, and and I think a lot some of that stuff will probably be for sale. Okay. Yeah, they but... know, it normally does. I actually got to see, because I know it's the 13 and 14, but I got to see what my work schedule is, uh, if we're still open or not. Uh, because, like, because of things changing, I'm like, uh, do I <laughs> do I still go? I, I still want to yeah. go. I'm still going to go that Saturday. Yeah, I want to go too, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to. 
because I I've still I haven't asked anyone about it and I and I just don't I just don't know if I'm gonna have money to really like because if I go to something like that I'm gonna wanna wanna spend money in that I don't have yeah <laughs> so <laughs> and driving and all that stuff too so uh, yeah. so yeah I got yeah because I got to find out what the what's going on at my job during that time uh but. Everybody, that is going to be our expansion pass. What are your thoughts about the Ninja Turtles and the character art? What about pizza? What flavor pizza do you like? I didn't like? finish my story about the Little Caesars $5 hot and ready pizza. Oh, go I ahead. I'm sorry, it. boss. Go ahead, boss. I, I, didn't, I didn't even get to it. I just got sidetracked like we always do. <laughs> <laughs> what does this expansion pass? What else you thought? I know. But, uh, we, you know, we, we, <laughs> we were, this was probably like, I don't know, almost 10 years ago at this point where we were like, we were, me and my cousin used to travel like through Pennsylvania and Michigan and all these places looking for like rare games and stuff. And we were, we were like probably two thirds of the way through our trip through Michigan, I want to say. And we stopped at this Kmart because they had a bunch of Game Boy advances on clearance. Right. And he bought them, he bought them all and sold them or whatever. And I was like, well, I'll keep a, a purple one for myself. Uh, and we got this hot and we got a five dollar hot and ready pizza from from little caesars i ate half of it and he ate half of it and like it had probably been sitting there all day the cheese was starting to like not look white anymore (laughs) but we were so hungry that we ate it anyway our next stop we stop at target and like as soon as we walk in the door we felt the just like we had to poop so bad and we like ran into the Target bathroom, <laughs> and whoever cleaned it last didn't replace the toilet paper. So my cousin went out to the aisle with the toilet paper and took the toilet paper off the rack and brought it back to the <laughs> to the bathroom. <laughs> That's my story about a Little Caesars hot and ready pizza. It was hot and ready, all right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's and hot I, enough and ready to destroy your butthole. And I have one just, last thing to say about the turtles. It was just just as hot and ready coming out as it was going in. <laughs> yes, Jesse. <sighs> they, they, what they would be best to do at this new show is just kill off Splinter because <laughs> he looks atrocious. Dude, he kill looks like he looks like a Chinese be... racial stereotype. <laughs> Yeah, and he he basically looks like a gerbil or something. He doesn't even look like a rat. Yeah, he looks more like a fat mouse than anything else. <laughs> it's, just, everybody... it's just dumb. Hey, everybody, it's this so is... bad. The this fat is samurai mouse. <laughs> yeah. It's just character art that we're responding to. So, um, are you going to check the episode? Are like you going to watch sumo. the cartoon series? We it's don't a know. Sumo wrestling rat. <laughs> you know what? We should. We Jesse, you and I should do a Rise of the Tur- Ninja Turtles review session every week, and just talk about the episode that came on. It should just be a new segment. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, man, that's, I don't even know yeah, where this series I start. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even care. Too, it's too soon. Whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> well everybody that has been for expression pass i have been your host eddie v that is our wise wisconsin mr jesse douglas and our boss man himself mr Corey derrick we will see you next time on expression pass bye everybody